Hello everybody, welcome to the January vlog of 2015. Uh, the first vlog of the year, so let's get started. I'm Wizworld 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. Well, hopefully you don't have to listen to the video and just watch it in the background because, uh, well, I've tried to make it easy for you to just watch my videos without necessarily watching, at least in terms of the vlogs. But anyways, videos you might have missed. Uh, well, there's definitely always, as usual, a bunch of Sunday showcases and, uh, only one quickie uh, this month, which is, it, 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 it irritates me, but at least I got something out, to say the least. So for Sunday Showcase, we got Kirby's Dream Land 3 on the Super Nintendo, played on the Wii U. Shantae, Risky's Revenge on PC. I know it's Shantae, but I like to say Shantae. Lifeless Planet, also on PC. Check that out too. And the last Sunday Showcase for uh, January is the 58 games in one starring Sonic 3D Blast 5 and Puzzle Road on the Game Boy, played on the Super Game Boy. Go check that one out. I think you guys will find it very, very interesting as it's not very often that you would see that type of game. And the only video game review video that I got out is the Echo the Dolphin games on the Sega Genesis for the Sega Genesis Quickies Season 2. So, uh, you know, check that out, share that around, and, you know, comment on it like, um... You know, what did you think of the Echo games? Did you like it or did you just uh, dislike them like I did? So, you know, spark conversations, but definitely share the videos out. And thank you all for watching and uh, uh, liking the video too. It really helps me out and I appreciate all of it. All right, so the next thing is uh, what I'm gonna do for next month. Well, first of all, one of the things I'm gonna be doing next month, and actually tomorrow at the time of this recording at the end of uh, January, is tomorrow I'm gonna be watching uh, Blade Runner, the final cut with a bunch of people. I haven't gotten a chance to see all the old classic movies and so on and so on, so there's a lot of stuff that I would need to catch up on. So I'm gonna go check out uh, Blade Runner, the final cut. In February, they're gonna be coming out with the uh, new 3DS and I would like to get my hands on one, especially, uh, let's just say I need to upgrade it. And that is all I'm gonna say. Unless you personally know me and I've told you about um, uh, the deal with my 3DS, then... Well, actually, seeing my videos probably also explains that too. But anyways, yeah, gonna go get the new 3DS, because it's kind of more of a video game necessity for me. Uh, the other plan, and this is kind of major, because, uh, uh, this... This actually involves me, uh, not being around for about a month and a half, because... Well, once I actually get some confirmation, is I'm actually gonna go, uh, visit my relatives, so... I won't be around like uh, for to do videos and write stuff, so I'm gonna be gone and it's kind of my official actual vacation time. Kinda didn't want to go, but at the same time I haven't seen my uh, other relatives in like a long long time, so I figured it's like, you know what, I might as well go visit and a few things were expiring so I renewed it. So basically in response to that I'm going to be making or trying to make as many videos as I can without rushing them so I can leave some videos scheduled for you guys to watch while I'm gone. Uh, visiting and hanging out with my relatives. So, yeah, I uh, hope I can get that done and hope you guys uh, won't mind it while I'm gone. Recent pickups. Uh, once again, I surprised myself because I usually don't think about like, uh, hmm, what games am I going to be getting next month? But anyways, let's, let's, getting, uh, let's get on to it. Uh, I got the AGDQ 2015 bundle, which comes with Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition, starring John St. John. Shadow Warrior Classic Redux, uh, I already have that, so I might give that away as a prize. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, but anyways, uh, I haven't heard from uh, that game in a long, long time, so whenever I get the chance, I'm gonna go play it, but I definitely remember uh, the game on PC and such back then. Volgar the Viking, I have no clue what that is, so uh, I'll have to go check that out. Another game, and this is one of the reasons why I got the bundle, is because it comes up. Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut, which is how I got to play the game. It's also on PC too. Actually, most of these are on PC, so I don't even need to say that. Speedrunners, uh, Early Access, and it comes with the YouTube 1 and 2 uh, pack, which does not contain any Wiz War in any of them, and I highly recommend that uh, Speedrunners should include Wiz War 100 in their packs. It would just make it a whole lot more awesome. Another one I got uh, much later on is uh, the Weekly Bundle Brawlers, and I think this is actually the only bundle from uh, Humble Bundle that where I actually paid like the highest amount to uh, get everything because it has Fist of Awesome. The usage of the word awesome is not awesome. 
Reaper, Tale of a Pale Swordsman. Have not tried that yet. Super Combo Man, Don't Mash Edition. Hmm, haven't played that either. Ascendant, haven't played that either. Fist of Jesus, I have been playing it for uh, quite a few days. Double Dragon Neon, kind of the reason why I bought it. And that one was uh, the one where you had to, I think it was pay 15. Yeah, you, you had to pay like about 15 or something to get that. A Long Wolf, Guacamele, Super Turbo Champion Edition. The, the whole Capcom Street Fighter naming convention, I see. I also got Don't Starve Together at the very beginning of the month. I was actually, actually thought I got this last month, but it was actually at, uh, early this month. Um, I've only played one game of it with uh, my uh, buddy George the Hitman, but so far we have not, I have not played it with anyone else or gotten to play more of it with him, so I kind of wish I didn't get it, because I said I would only get it if uh, he would actually play the game more with me, and really just er, beta, early access, or don't starve together, kind of regret buying it. Ah, one of the nice things that I got was uh, from uh, Nintendo is the Monster Hunter 4 demo. Sucks that I can't play it because I uh, need to update my 3DS. It's not broken, it's just I can't play it. Would have done a demo's impression if I could. Another game is Legend of Mana on PSN. Uh, my buddy Bram, or well, my colleague Bram, or uh, Heldu, uh, some of you may or may not know, uh, was mentioning it on Twitter and said like, oh, PlayStation was having a sale on uh, Legend of Mana, and I'm like, you know, I like the Legend of Mana series, or, or at least, no, I like to, uh, Secret of Mana on the Game Boy Advance, so I was like, you know, and it looks pretty similar, so I got it. It's like, and I've never played it before, so I had to check it out. The last game I got is Road Squadron 3D on the PC from Good Old Games, and they are awesome for that because this is actually the first time it has been distributed digitally, and oh my god, it was I so just like, I was just like, got it. It was $5.99, but that wasn't, that just wasn't it. See, I actually own the original Road Squadron 3D disc, and I was playing it with the joystick attached to the computer. Most fun I've ever had on a PC, but I can't play it with the original CD because it only runs on 32-bit, and my system is a 64-bit, so... It was a massive pain in the ass, so, like, thank you, good old games, for, um, you know, digitally uh, distributing uh, Star Wars Road Squadron 3D. I think there might be a little bit of a problem with it, because it doesn't... See it didn't play exactly the way I remember, but, you know... It might be the uh, rose-tinted glasses and such, but I'll just have to see. But so far, thanks a lot for getting that game on on uh, digital, because I've been dying to play it, and it works great with the joystick. Oh, going back to Road Squadron, uh, it is kind of annoying to record it, though. So, that's a thing. And on the final thing on the list is, uh, things I've done! One of the things I've done is, uh... Now, if you've been on my uh, Twitch TV stream, you might have noticed that I was playing Unturned, the free game on uh, Steam, which uh, is a zombie survival game, and, you know, it was actually kind of interesting. Well, not interesting as in, as in it's original, but it was very... You know, I liked it. Like, compared to all the other zombie survival games, I kind of liked it. It actually... I liked it to the point where I was inspired by the game to go make a um, survival slash emergency go pack, so basically... <sighs> Half of the money I saved for things, I I uh, used it to go make a survival pack where, you know, there's first aid and all the stuff you'd need in case anything happens and, you know, I was just, or like, you know, in case a zombie apocalypse happens, which, you know, would never ever happen, but in case for other emergencies, I've actually uh, made it. I'd show it to you um, right here, right now, but uh, you probably wouldn't see it because it's green. Now, two other things I've done is I've been playing Road Squadron 3D because it's a classic and I got to play with the joystick. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Republic Commando on PC, which uh, the the disc I own actually still works on, you know, my system. Fist of Jesus, as I've been mentioning. Come more dirty life because, well, it's kind of the only thing I can play right now. I'll explain on that later. And playing uh, Shantae's Risky Revenge. And I'm actually gonna, I'm actually thinking about talking about that in a separate vlog, like, in more details about it, cause, there are, there are, you know, I'll explain in those other vlogs. Now, the last thing I did, and this is very recent, I saw Robocop, the extended cut with uh, D. Tyson, cause it was actually his copy of the DVD disc, and uh, you know what, thanks a lot, I really, really enjoyed the movie. If I ever get the chance, I would like to go buy the, the disc myself. So that's it for the January vlog from WizWorld 100. I hope you found it informative and anything that you might have missed, you would go on, 
uh, watch it. So, with that all said, I hope you enjoy your day, evening, night, whatever. But this is Wizworld 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. So, stay tuned for more from Wizworld 100. Although you'll be staying tuned for a long time. See ya!